the Gospel Reflection of the Day brought to you by Sister Rosalind Mwambani from the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. As the day begins, listen, reflect and live the Word of God, the best food ever for the soul. It is Wednesday of the 21st week in Ordinary Time, the 28th day in the month of August 2024. We celebrate the memorial of St. Augustine, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. May we pray through the intercession of St. Augustine for all Christians struggling in one way or another, for the gift of inner conversion, that our restlessness in life may lead us to Christ himself. And we will remain as restless as we are until we rest with our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 23, verse 27 to 32. Jesus told the crowds, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you are like white-washed tombs, which outwardly appear beautiful, but inwardly are full of dead men's bones and of all uncleanness. Even so, you also outwardly appear righteous to men, but inwardly you are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you blind the tombs of the prophets. You build the tombs of the prophets and decorate the tombs of the righteous and say, If we had lived in the days of our fathers, we wouldn't have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. Therefore, you testify to yourselves that you are the children of those who killed the prophets. The Gospel of the Lord Sister and brother in Christ Jesus, today we celebrate the feast day of St. Augustine, the patron saint of those who seek God with sincere hearts. His works have been the foundation of the medieval Western philosophy as well as our theology that until now moves each and every Christian, Catholic and non-Catholic alike, to find rest amidst the restlessness of the world. I have always been moved and inspired not by being hypocritical like the Pharisees in today's gospel, but becoming humble and faithful servants amidst our brokenness and sinful nature that we have. In the gospel of today, Jesus continues his, you know, diatribe about the Pharisees. He bluntly calls them hypocrites. He likens them to whitewashed tombs, which look beautiful, but deep within, the tombs are nothing but bones and filth. You know, the sad reality is that all of us have a Pharisee within us. I assume that most of us strive to look good, don't we? Naturally, we desire to be esteemed and appreciated. We want to be competent, successful, and happy. And this is a natural and normal thing. However, we also may try to hide the vulnerable and fearful side of ourselves. We may try to hide what we consider our bones and our filth. We don't want people to see this side of ourselves, do we? We want to look happy, successful, fulfilled and satisfied. I think today Jesus is speaking to you and I, loving friend, for he realizes that we also are hypocrites at times. And he knows that we want to look good and be successful. These are natural desires and hopes. However, periodically we may need to ask ourselves, am I being hypocritical in this case? Am I presenting myself as good and holy when I know I am a hypocrite in one way or another? Jesus doesn't expect us to be perfect. 
He desires that we be who we are and not pretend to be holier, happier, or more satisfied than is reality. He simply desires that we be authentic Christians, beloved children of his Father. Jesus wants us to be the best we can be and trust that this is enough. The rest, let us leave it to him. Can we believe and trust this? I hope so. And as Christians, how will we be able to search for God like St. Augustine? God bless us all and a very happy feast day to all who bear the name Augustine. You've been listening to the Gospel Reflection for today as brought to you by Sister Rosalind Mwambani from the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. Remember to listen, reflect and live the Word of God, the best food ever for this world.